A program designed to keep 200 kids safe and off the streets is no longer running because of ongoing problems at a Makiki Recreation Center. The head of the program says reaching out to KHON2 is her last resort to save the program. She told us the Athletic Club for Children, which was part of HPD's Police Activities League, was forced to shut down after lights were removed from Stevenson Recreation Center. That happened nearly a year ago for safety reasons. Since then, community members say the park has turned into an unsafe place and they want new lights installed. Bridget Namata pressed for answers on why that is not happening. Bridget, what did you learn? Joe, residents tell me they've seen more graffiti and more crime happening at Stevenson Recreation Center because of the lack of lights. You can see right here, instead of a light pole, instead it's a stump with wires sticking out. Now, they put orange cones on top, but I'm told it's a problem because people tend to take them off. I learned the city and the state share responsibilities for the park. The city tells me the wires are not live, and it's also not the responsibility to reinstall the lights, and that's all the community wants. During the day, you'll find students from nearby Stevenson Middle and Lincoln Elementary at the Recreation Center. By nightfall, it's a different story. Residents tell me they've seen a lot of unsafe, illegal activity at the park since the lights were taken down in March 2016. Heidi Heliniak runs the Punchbowl Athletic Club. She tells me over 200 kids participate. But because of the ongoing issues here at Stevenson Recreation Center, this is the first year the club won't be happening. There's a lot of kids around here who don't have anything, who the parents can't afford to put them in other leagues. Or other clubs, and now that I cannot offer them a safe haven, I, I closed my club because of this one reason, which, which I think is unfair. Residents tell me they want the lights back, but haven't had any luck. We're not getting no response at all. If we were getting a response, something would have been done, and nothing has been done yet. I made some calls and found out the Department of Education owns the rec center, but the city maintains it. The Department of Parks and Recreation sent over a statement saying a replacement project is necessary to reinstall those lights, but replacing it is the responsibility of the DOE. I tried getting someone from the DOE to talk to us on camera, but was told no one was available. A spokesperson told me in an email the DOE is making plans to repair the lights and is waiting for approval to begin, but a specific start date hasn't been set. I want to see the kids to come back. I want to see lights on, I want to see drug activity done, I want to see kids just all around, Does it sounds of screaming, yelling, you know, basketballs bouncing, um, games going. So I checked HPD's crime map for Stevenson Recreation Center and found reported crimes of vandalism, drug and alcohol violations, car theft and burglary here since November of last year. We'll keep you posted on when the DOE finally reinstalls those lights. Live at Stevenson Recreation Center, Bridget Amata, KHON 2 News. Again, we learned about the Stevenson Rec Center from a viewer. If you have a news tip or see something newsworthy, report it at KHON2.com or through the KHON2 mobile app.